Hey guys, I'm sure you've seen this one video on TikTok where this girl writes a program which texts the entire B movie one word at a time. <laughs> so I thought it was a really fun prank to pull off on my friends, and here's a quick tutorial on how you could do it too. So I will be using Python for doing this, but if you do not have any prior programming knowledge, that's completely okay. You just need to follow through with the steps and all in all, it's a really simple process and you could do it too. The first step is to download Python if you don't already have it. So to do that, you go to python.org slash downloads. So once you get, go there, you hit on uh, download Python. I'm not going to be doing that since I already have Python, but uh, there's just a few small steps you need to do and then you'll have Python downloaded. Okay, so the second step is to check if you have pip installed. So pip is basically used for managing uh, packages in Python. So you can do that by, uh, if you're on Mac, hit the search button here and type terminal and then enter. And if you're on Windows, you need to use the command prompt. Wait one second. Okay, so first you want to type Python and then space dash m space pip uh, and then two dashes and then type version. Okay, so you should get uh, a pip version like this, but if you don't get this, it means you don't have pip installed, or if you get some sort of error. So when that does happen, you want to go to this link. I'll put the link in the description. And once you do that, you want to run this command and this in the uh, command prompt or in the terminal if you're on Mac. So you go here, just copy paste it, and then run it. And then once this is done, you go over here, you copy this, and then you run this, and then after you do that, you should have pip installed. All right. The next step is to um, have make an account in uh, this API called Twilio. So just go to twilio.com. So it's basically used for sending messages and that sort of stuff. So we're going to be using that to actually send the message. So if you already have an account, just go ahead and log in. But if you don't, just sign up. Uh, it just asks for your basic information, your name. Uh, it will have you ver verify your email and your phone number. And once you do that, you should be done. Okay. Uh, since I already have an account, I'm just going to log in. Okay, once you're done making your account, just log in. And then uh, go to dashboard over here. So you're going to see a number over here, your trial number. If you are on a new account, you're actually not going to have a number over here. So to get a number, you just need to press this button, get a trial number, and it's just going to give you a number. So you can just use this for now. Just uh, choose this number. Okay, so whatever that number is, for me, this one, that's going to be my new number. So just click done, and then it should pop up over here. Right, so this is my new trial number. This is the number that you're going to be using to send the messages. Uh, and then you should have an authentication token here and an account SID. So your account ID. Okay, so once you're done with that, we can uh, we have one more step to go before we can actually start programming it. All right, so now you want to go back to your terminal if you're on Mac or the command line, a uh, command prompt. Sorry. Okay, so once you're on here, you want to download the Twilio package. So to do that, you can do pip install Twilio. I think with one L. Okay, so since I already have it, it says requirement already satisfied. But if you don't already have it, it's going to install for you. Okay, so now you want to create a new folder. So inside this folder, you're going to be putting all of the contents of this uh, of this project. So I'm just going to call it prank. So now that you have that, uh, you want to open whatever your favorite uh, text editor is. So if you don't have one, I'd recommend downloading Sublime Text. I'll put a, a link to the download in the description. Okay, so once you get that, I'm going to be using Sublime Text. Um, just open that up and save it inside your folder that you just created. One second. Okay, so inside the plan folder, and now I'm going to call it as uh, sending script word by word. So whatever you call it, at the end of it, you want to put .py. So it just tells the computer that it's a Python file and then save it. So first we want to import the Twilio package. So for that we do from twilio.rest import client with a capital C. Okay, so now that we did that, we first need to initialize a few variables. So first we need to get our account 
ID. Uh, then we're gonna get the authentication token. Uh, and then we're gonna get the sender's number. Or I'll just call it sender. And then it's supposed to be an equal to. Okay, and then we're gonna get the receiver. Okay, so the first three you get from your Twilio dashboard. So I'm just going to go back to my Twilio dashboard. Okay, so in your dashboard, you're going to have the trial number. So you just copy that number, and that's going to be the sender number. So the sender, and then make sure it's inside the quotations. Okay, so then uh, you have the account ID. So you just copy that and then paste it over here. And then the authentication token, you do the same thing. Just copy it over here, hit the copy button, and then paste it under that. Okay, so your receiver is actually going to be the person, uh, whoever is receiving it, right? So one important thing you uh, want to make sure when you're writing that number is you want to include the country code in the beginning. So if you're sending it to the U.S., you're going to write plus one and then whatever the number is. Uh, if it's the if it's India, it's plus nine one and then whatever uh, just the rest of the number. So uh, whatever the country code is, make sure you put it first. Okay, so I'm just going to put my number over here. Okay, so now that we have that, we need to create uh, a variable called client. Okay, so just follow the steps. So in that variable, you're going to have uh, the account uh, ID, so account underscore SID, and then you're going to have the password, which is the authentication token. Okay, and that's it. Okay, so now we actually want to get a script. So in this case, we're actually going to be using the script from the B movie. So I think you can just find whatever script you want online. So I'm just going to do that. B movie script. Should be able to find that. I'm just going to go to this one. Okay, so this has the whole script. So you can do whatever script you want. I'm just using B movie because that's what I wanted to do. Okay, so then you just copy the whole script. Um, go back to Sublime Texture, whatever editor. Make a new file and paste it all. So, and then you want to save this file uh, as whatever, uh, but one thing you got to make sure when you're saving it is it's inside the same folder as the Python file. So I'm just going to call it script.txt. Or you can name it whatever followed by .txt. Okay, so I'll go back to my Python file and then now we want to open that file, right? So we're going to do with open and you put the file's name over here. So mine is called script.txt. Again, make sure it's in the same folder. And then you're going to go to read only mode. So you're just going to write R. And you want to open the file. So we're just going to put open as F. So when you print this out, you're going to get the whole file. So that's not very helpful for us. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to use a for loop to get only the words. Because uh, that's what we want to send. So four lines in F. So we get each line that way. And now if we do four words in F, we should get each word. So I'm just going to print it out to see how it actually looks. Okay, so we're going to print word. Okay, so for running it, you're going to, oh, on Sublime, you do Command B. If you're on Windows, I think it's Control B. Okay, we didn't actually. Oh, sorry, sorry. So this is supposed to be for words and lines. Okay, so save it and run it again. Okay, so we actually have a problem. So it's actually printing each letter. Okay, so we can fix that by putting lines.split. Okay, so what this actually does is um, it splits the line. It splits each word. Wherever there's a blank space, it's going to split it. So now we should uh, possibly get the words. Okay, yeah, perfect. So right now, as you can see, we're just getting the words, and that's exactly what we want. Okay, so now that we know it's working, we can remove the print command. So now we actually want to send the message. So for doing that, we're going to do message equals to, uh, I think it's client dot message dot create. Okay, so inside this, you're going to put three variables. So the first one is the body. So uh, the body just includes whatever the content of the message is. Wait, let me just put it in different lines so it's easier to read. Okay, so after the body, you have uh, the from. So from, and then there's an underscore after that. So make sure you have the underscore. So this is the... Um, from number, so your number, the sender's number. 
and then two. So this is who you're actually sending it to. Um, so since we already have variables, we're just going to put the variable. So for two, we're going to write the receiver. Uh, for from, we're going to write sender. And then for body, we're actually going to send each word. So we're going to write word. So that's it. Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, and then if you run this, it's going to send. So I'll just uh, show you how the final result looks like on my phone. Since you're using a free account, there's one small drawback, which is first, before you send it to someone, you need to send them an OTP. So to do that, we do, you go to this uh, menu here, then go to phone numbers, and then afterwards go to verified caller IDs. Okay, so once you go here, you hit on the plus, and you type the per so just go to text you instead, and then type the person's phone number here, click text me, and it's going to send the person an OTP. So you can just tell your friend or whoever you're sending it that you're working on some sort of project and you're sending them an OTP and you need their help. So most often they will actually send it back to you. Uh, I tried it on all of my friends and they all sent me the OTP. So once they send you the OTP, the number is going to get added to the verified caller IDs. So now that it's added, you can go back to your program and then you can change the receiver number to the number of your friend or whoever you wanted to send to and it's going to work. So one last thing is that once you run the program, if you want to stop it, so right now it's running. So if you do want to stop it, you want to just do control C. So make sure it's not running for too long because as you're using a trial account, uh, you only get to do it a limited amount of time. So just be careful with how long you're actually sending the messages for. And again, if you want to cancel, it's control C.